You're picking some veggies in the garden. When you come across something big and round, it's covered in soil. When you dig it out, you find out it's a giant egg, bigger than one of an ostrich. But you don't have any chickens or ducks. And even if you did, none of those animals could lay an egg of that size. You pick it up. It seems real. You take the egg inside and build an incubator for it. A couple of days pass, but nothing. You go on with your life and forget about the egg's existence. You've been working in your garden all day long. All you want now is to get into a tub filled with hot water and have some dinner later. But while you're eating, you hear some noise coming out of the room with the incubator. You ignore it, thinking it's just some mice scampering around. But then the sound intensifies. You head there and see the eggshell cracking. In a couple of minutes, something begins to crawl out. You grab your phone and immediately start filming it. A tiny reptile pokes out of the now broken egg and starts examining its surroundings. You're shocked. You place your phone on a special platform to keep filming the creature. Meanwhile, you grab your laptop and begin researching what animal it could be. The creature doesn't have the snout of an alligator, nor does it look like a Komodo dragon. You go back to your dinner and feed the reptile some leftover meatloaf. It gulps the food down in a flash. The next day, you build a small terrarium to keep an eye on your new pet. Over the following weeks, you record every second of its life. You call the reptile Buster. The creature has already grown to the size of a dog. It runs fast and jumps pretty high too. You think it might be some new reptile species, but it doesn't crawl like an alligator or a lizard. Your pet has two tiny arms and large legs. Its jaws are massive for an animal its size. The reptile also has razor sharp teeth. Your friend comes over for a movie. At one point, your reptile runs into the living room and starts biting the furniture. Your friend freaks out and starts yelling, Dinosaur! You calm him down and take the dino to the garage. You explain to your friend how you found the animal, and he tells you to contact someone to examine it. The next day, you take Buster to the vet and take a seat in the waiting room. You keep your pet in a cage so that no one can see it. But the dino starts growling in a strange way. Many people grab their pets and move away from you. It's finally your turn. You bring Buster in and show it to the veterinarian. The man looks shocked. He puts the creature on a metal examination table and starts looking closely at its features. Sharp teeth and claws, scaly skin. The vet tells you you've been raising a T-Rex for three weeks. He calls in other specialists to examine the animal. The next thing you know, you're in a lab with a bunch of scientists studying Buster. You sit there anxiously as they collect its DNA samples. They even ask for the footage you've been recording. After a couple of hours, they come back and tell you that you indeed have a dinosaur. They'll have to keep Buster in the lab to conduct further studies. So you go home feeling a bit lonely. A couple of years pass. Now you have a degree in paleontology specializing in T-Rexes. You've been working with the lab and monitoring Buster that has turned into a fully grown dino. You also teach at the university and have published a book called My T-Rex Buster. It has become a bestseller. One day, you come back from the university and turn on the TV. That's when you hear breaking news. A large creature has broken out of a lab outside the city. It's now on the loose. They show several images of the beast's footprints that lead to the forest. You get a call from the lab. They ask you to head down there as fast as you can. The researchers tell you what's happened and ask you to accompany them to the forest to find the dino. You put on a special protective suit and get into a jeep. After a couple of hours, you arrive at the spot where Buster was last seen. You get out and try to follow its footprints, but the rain has removed the marks the creature left almost completely. The scientists check the tracking device placed under the dino's skin, but it's not working. They bring some food Buster likes to try to lure it out. After a couple of hours, there's no news. It's already night when you hear some rumbling in the distance. Everyone jolts awake. People around you are on high alert. You hide and wait. A large shadow the size of a school bus appears from the dark. A fully grown T-Rex can reach 40 feet long and 12 feet high. The giant lizard approaches the meat and sniffs it. After a couple of moments, it runs off. Everyone gets out of their hiding places and tries to follow the animal. The meat has a special substance in it. 
It was supposed to put the dino to sleep. This way, it wouldn't be a problem to bring it back to the lab. But the dino was smart enough to feel something suspicious. Despite its size, the T-Rex is quite slow. It can move at a speed of only 12 miles per hour and can't even outrun a human. But Buster somehow manages to cross a raging river and disappears into the dark forest. No one has been prepared to make it through such an obstacle, so the whole team makes a detour through the mountains. It's a difficult climb, with everyone carrying the equipment needed to catch the T-Rex. From the height of the mountain, you can see almost all the forest. Far away, treetops are shaking. The giant reptile is heading to the north. Everyone tries to get to the other side of the mountain as fast as they can. But then, one of the crew members slips and falls. Good thing a safety rope holds her in place. You pull the woman back to the path. You continue walking until you reach a cave. Everyone puts on their helmets with flashlights and goes inside. The deeper you go into the cave, the smaller it gets, so you have to crawl to get through. The rocks are sharp, and there's water everywhere. It's easy to get lost in here. The cave starts trembling. Everyone rushes to get through the narrowest part. You finally make it out of the cave. That's when you find out that the cave was trembling because of the T-Rex. It was stomping around the mountain. It spots your group and starts running towards you. People panic and rush back into the cave. The T-Rex catches up with your team and tries to snatch someone. But by that moment, everyone is already safely tucked inside the cave. Suddenly you scream, Buster! Shockingly, it seems to calm the creature down. You step outside, even though everyone is trying to hold you back. You get outside and face the massive creature. It's just staring at you. You slowly approach it, trying not to make any sudden moves. Someone from inside the cave gasps. It startles Buster. It starts thrashing and roaring, but you are still there, trying to calm the animal down. Eventually, it gets quieter and comes closer. You put your hand on its head, caressing it. After a few seconds, someone inside the cave steps on a twig and it cracks. The T-Rex jolts and runs away. You're furious. Now, you have to track it once again. After you spend many more hours in the forest, the sun starts to rise. Everyone is exhausted and about to pass out. You decide to call it a day and head back home. But as soon as your team gathers near the jeeps, you receive a notification that a giant T-Rex has entered the city. A helicopter picks up you and the other team members. There isn't enough room for everyone, so several people stay behind, waiting for the next chopper. The T-Rex is dashing through traffic. People in the streets are running for their lives. Dozens of news companies are filming the incident. Many people are posting it on social media. The dino breaks into the mall and destroys everything it sees. Your helicopter lands and you get out, trying to think of a way to calm the creature down. You rush into the mall, but the T-Rex has already run away to the other side of the building and managed to escape. You're following it, but suddenly you get a phone call saying that the team members left behind in the forest have spotted your T-Rex. You can even see the live footage of the animal. That means there are two giant reptiles on the loose in your state.